Hey, everybody. We are live right now at Pace Studios with Alfredo Rodriguez and Pedrito Martinez. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you so yeah. much for having us. Man, uh, sound check has sounded great, so we're very much looking forward to sharing what you guys do with the internet right now. Oh, thank you. And uh, and congratulations are due also because Duolog is now out in the world. It came out earlier uh, earlier this month on yeah. Mac Avenue, and uh, we're gonna hear two songs from that and two songs not from the album. Can you tell us what's uh, what you're gonna do first? Yeah. I want to start. Yeah, go go ahead. Yeah, with uh, the name of the album, Mike. That's right. We are going to start with Duolog, which is the the name of the album, Duolog is a Norwegian composition by Alfredito and I. So we hope you like it. All right. That sounds amazing. Thank you. It's uh, I'm Thank sitting you. back here cutting between these three cameras, between your close-ups and the wide. And it's difficult to know what to cut to next, and there's so much happening on both sides. It's a <laughs> right. total pleasure, but at the same time, I just want to be on the wide at all times. You guys are doing cool. so much. Thank you. Um, uh, can we talk? So both of you guys, you're from from Havana. We're both from Havana. Yeah. Um, can you talk? Can you tell the story about? I mean, you have very very different approaches, very different uh, education to to music. Can you talk a little bit about the two well, different I, approaches? Well, I grew up in a in a musical family. My dad is a, a singer and a host uh, TV shows um, in Cuba. So uh, I went to the classical school of music uh, since I was seven years old, um, and I've been playing classical music all my life. Pedrito. I uh, can tell you a little bit about his background, but he had a different, a little different, right, Pedro? Yeah, yeah. Had a I also came from a, a music family. You know, my mom used to love, you know, uh, used to sing. And uh, one of my cousins was a great percussion player from an orchestra called Peyo La Frocan, which was, which was one of the greatest orchestras from Cuba. But in my particular case, I learned in the street. I didn't have the opportunity to go to school of music. So, um, and I think that's what makes our connection and our music way different and, and, and very, very tight in terms of, of, you know, its influence are classical, my influence are, 
um, folklore, but we both from Havana, Cuba, from the same neighborhood. And uh, I feel it's so familiar to, with, the, with the folk music, too. And, uh, you know, this combination, I think, is it's working. It's good also because I feel that music unites people, right? And that's what happens also with Pedrito and myself. Even though we're coming from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. we meet each other in the middle. And that's one of the messages also of this album, of this music, is to unite people instead of separate. Now we live in... Uh, you know, hard times sometimes, you know, we try, we as human beings tend to divide us. You know, it happens musically, it happens with any aspect of life, but music as, as well, you're coming from Cuba, Havana, so people say, oh, you just play Cuban music, or, you know, like someone from, you know, in Cuba, sometimes we tend to, do that, you know, let's say like, oh, if you are not Cuban, you cannot play Cuban music. That doesn't make any sense. Or if you are not from the stage, you cannot play jazz or rock. Or if you are not from Europe, you cannot play classical music. That doesn't make any sense because for us, what really makes sense is trying. Yeah. It's learning something every day, and that's the most important. That is the message that we want to express to people. If you have a dream, just go for it. Just learn. Just share with the people your joy, and that's more than enough. Well, dude, it's definitely it's coming across in the music right now. Everything you just said is coming across beautifully in the music as well. Uh, can you tell us what's coming up? Is the second song off of Duologue, or are you going to do something uh, something else? Actually, no. The second song is a song by Ernesto Leguana uh, that we're going to play. Um, this song is one of the most beautiful song that he wrote in my opinion so pedrito is gonna come with the cajon here and we're gonna sit together and play this one and Nestor Leguana was one of the most uh prolific one of the best in my humble opinion one of the best composers uh from cuba and also pianist so for a certain part of his life he used to live in in spain in the south of spain and he was very influenced by flamenco music so this song is called gitanerías <laughs> That was Sidanerias. That's a lot of fun, man. Thank you for sharing that with us today. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Thank you. can we can we talk a little bit about uh, about how the relationship with with Quincy Jones started oh, yeah. and then how and how it developed too? Yeah, I've been working with Quincy for more than ten years, which now saying it it it, it's, it seems crazy. You know, ten years is a long a long time, and uh, I've been very fortunate as a young musician as an artist. Uh, to be on the side of someone who knows so much, who has apport so much to the music and art, to the world. I met him in Switzerland, actually the same place that Pedrito and myself we met. We met 
some some years ago, and um, yeah, since the beginning, I felt you know like a great great connection, and he offered me to help me in my career, and that is one of the main reasons that I've been living in the states for ten years. And Perito can tell you a little bit also how how we met because we met in that festival. That festival has become very special for all of us. I know. At the Montreux 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 Fest. Festival, Switzerland, right? In Switzerland. So. Uh, Alfredo was playing with his trio, and I was playing with my quartet. And right when I saw Alfredo playing, you know, I fell in love with the way he played. And uh, his composition, you know, were blow my, blow my mind. And then right away we, we got a great connection and we started talking about ideas to put together a project. And then two years after that, yeah. we met in St. Louis. We did four concerts in St. Louis. And that's when we realized that, you know, that we got a great chemistry and great connection, then we decided to put together this record. But the, the way that we structured the record was very unusual, you know? Mm -hmm. Alfredo lived in LA, I live in New York, here in New York. And then Alfredo started sending me a lot of melodies, and I started sending back a lot of lyrics. And that's not the way you should normally, you know, instruct a composition. It's like, you know, normally it's A, B, whatever. People get together and start uh, rehearsing. We start rehearsing right before the recording, mm -hmm. and it came out very, organic and natural. It was amazing, man. Yeah, it's incredible. The, we feel uh, great energy between each other. And uh, also, I have to mention that it's not just about the music. It's about the brotherhood. It's about, you know, like hanging out every day and knowing that we are, you know, going for the same message, the same positive and uh, joy yeah. that we want to express to people. So it's, it has become very easy for uh, the two of us to tour together and to play. And we're having a great time. Good. It's all about that. Amazing. <laughs> it's obvious. I mean, it, it comes across very, very clearly. So I'm stoked for you guys Thank personally. You. I'm happy that's happened. You guys found each other, and Thank you're you. uh, Thank you so much. projecting all this out into the world. A friend of Michael, a friend of a friend of us, called this a uh, cognitive consonance. <laughs> you know, and and it's it's crazy because when we're playing together, man, it's something, you know, magical, and we we feel very together. Mm. You know, it's, it's 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 amazing. It's an amazing feeling, man. Yes, agreed, 100%, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, what's what's coming up next? Is this one-off duologue, or is this going to be a... Uh, this one is going to be like a mix between two original songs. One of them is Joel Bere, which is the last track of the duologue album. And it's a song that is dedicated to Cuba. As you know, we've been physically far away for so many years. And I say physically because spiritually, we, we've been in Cuba every yep. day. <laughs> but physically, you know, we, ha we, we, we are far away, so... It's a song that brings us so many memories from our childhood, uh, our families, our friends. So we dedicate this one to Cuba. And to all Latin people also are there, you know?
Thank you. Right. Gracias. Thank you. Um, so when you guys play, you've got the uh, uh, couple of day stand at uh, at the Jazz Standard that's yes. happening this this Thursday, February twenty eighth through Sunday, March third, yes. um, and a ton of tour dates. They're all out there on your site, Alfredo Music. They're all out on Pedrito Martinez Music dot com. Also, um, what do people see when they see the live show? Is it always you guys? Do you have uh, guests come through, or what's the what will the residency look like at, uh, at the been Standard? The other two, of, just yeah. the two of us. Um, for now, it's just the duologue. Yeah, we have already so much music to <laughs> to share with people. We're being incorporated you know? even more. You oh know, my like, god! Since because this is the first time that we are, you know, like playing an, an extensive tour together. Yeah. So we've been, you know, like incorporating new songs and new songs to the repertoire, and we're so happy to share everything with with it's the, beautiful with the people. Every day we come, something new has come. And then we just, you just incorporate it. <laughs> and that's something of a special play. The Jazz Standard is sort of special for you guys in the history between oh, you yeah, two, right? right? So you actually, do, uh... I, I would like to say that, you know, Seth brought me here. The first time that I was in New York was at the, at the Jazz Standard. That was nine years ago. So always feels very special to go back to, to the Jazz Standard. And now, you know, we have four nights and we have uh, two shows each night. So we hope all of our friends and our new friends come yeah. come to the concert and enjoy us. And Pedrito, you know, you've been here for a long almost time. twenty years. Yeah, twenty years. So I've been I play jazz standard many times. So it's like my home. Well, hopefully everyone who's watching this right now does get a chance to see you at one of the dates. If not the Jazz Standard, then uh, check out either both of you guys' websites. Yeah, they can uh, check out our website. And also, we are very active on social media. You know, yeah. we are Instagram, all the time everywhere. trying to share music with the with the fans and uh, we love it uh we've got a bonus song we've got a fourth song coming up can you guys tell us what's coming up uh what are you guys gonna play last well actually the next song we are going to play is entitled thriller <laughs> which was uh highly recommended by the genius quincy Jones to put on the record so <laughs> thriller <laughs> 
the Cuban version, a thriller. Thank you guys both so much Thank for you, coming man. through and sharing this music uh, and making our Tuesday afternoon a whole lot of fun. We enjoyed that very much. And uh, so best of luck on Duologue that came out just a couple of weeks ago on Mac Avenue. And uh, travel safely. Enjoy all the Thank shows. You, um, and have a great uh, great couple day stand at the Jazz Standards coming up this Thursday, March. Uh, that's not true. February 28th uh, <laughs> through Sunday, March 3rd. So uh, guys, thanks again so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much for having us. Here.